girl, six, too scared to speak finally overcomes her anxiety after refusing to utter a word, even to her parents. A little girl who was too scared to speak, even to talk to her own parents, has finally found her voice. Six-year-old Poppy Campbell suffers from a form of mutism that paralyzes her with fear, and even meaning that she didn't make a sound when she cried. It took the little girl, of Inverness, four years to utter the words, Mommy, I love you, falling silent for another year before talking again. Mom Sarah said, it was very complex and we didn't know how to fix it. Sometimes it felt like we were banging our heads off a brick wall. But she found her own way. The 28-year-old said she had developed a sixth sense for what Poppy needed while she didn't speak, but said she had been aching to hear her daughter speak. She said, she didn't talk at all. There was no sound, just complete silence. Even her crying was silent. The mum of three said one of her favorite memories was finally hearing Poppy, then almost four years old, say I love you after she kissed her goodnight. The first time Poppy had even spoken was at three and a half, when she visited Blair Drummond Safari Park to visit her favorite animal, a giraffe, telling the keeper, thank you very much for letting me look after the giraffes. Bella was my favorite. Poppy's condition, selective mutism, is a condition which affects around 1 in 1,500 children. Her mom, a hairdresser, said it took a speech and language therapy program to help her daughter finally find her voice, with astounding results. The therapy involved her mom repeating hundreds of words and sounds dozens of times a day to Poppy in a bid to get her to speak. Four months later, Poppy was chatting away, even playing a role in a school play and developing a love for show and tell. Sarah said, now you can sit and talk to her all day, and she will talk to you. It was a lot of hard work on her part. But you could tell she really wanted to talk. She's smashed every single hurdle put up in front of her. She smashed it, destroyed it and ran past it in true poppy fashion. Dot, 